بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وبه نستعين عليه نتوكل Today we are going to discuss CMS infections, stroke, brain tumors, penis. Infections can be involved any part of the CMS including the brain, meninges or brain abscess. كلنا عارفين طبعا البرين ابسس ده فوكال اريا اوف فلويد كولكشن وحواليها تيك انهانسد وول وبتبقى سراوندد باي ايديما وممكن طبعا الايديما والابسس يعملوا ماس افكت ان ذا فورم اوف بين لاين شيفتنج او افيسنج ذا كورتيكال سلساي وات ايفر سو ذا برين ابسس از ا فوكال اريا اوف نيكروزس ستارتنج ان اريا اوف سيريبرايتس سراوندنج باي ا ميمبري early بال... في ال... قبل ما يتكون الابسس بيبقى فيه ال defined area of cerebritis بعد كده بيعمل ال well formed abscess بعد شوية ممكن الابسس ده لو كان near the ventricle هيحصل thinning out لل enhancing wall او لل wall بتاع الكبسول بتاعته وتفتح على ال ventricle وتعمل ventriculitis it's a potentially life threatening condition requiring prompt Radiological identification and rapid treatment. طبعا ال clinical presentation بتاعت ال brain abscess nearly non-specific لأنها يعني raised intracranial pressure, scissors, focal neurological deficit are the most common form of the presentation. في CT وال MRI بتبان ازاي ده fluid collection ولو كبسول thick كبسول. والكبسول دي بتبقى enhanced وبيبقى surrounding by edema so in the CT it will be low attenuated central low attenuated area surrounding by edema ولها enhancing wall برضو في ال MRI it's a fluid signal so it will be low on T1 high في T2 لها لو خدت enhancement هيبقى في thick enhanced wall و surrounded by edema Cerebritis اللي هو الايرلي فورم بقى قبل ما يتكون البرين ابسس. It represents inflammation of the brain in the setting of infection before the development of an abscess. Secondary to the infection with bacteria. In MRI with contrast ايه اللي هنلاقيه؟ هنلاقي ال defined area of altered signal intensity low في T1 و high في T2 ولها surrounding ايديما. طب بالنسبة لل enhancement الحقيقة مش characteristic قوي ممكن نلاقي ايه patchy Enhancement to mungkin men laish. Herpes simplex encephalitis. It is the most common cause of fetal viral encephalitis. Taban al presentation betat al herpes simplex non-specific. Lakin yu ma yizhu in al in fi lazim yu fi fever. U taban hede ko focal neurological deficits u scissors u kib. ليه بقول لازم يبقى فيه فيفر؟ لأن ال picture بتاعة ال herpes simplex radiologically is the same like uh, middle cerebral artery ischemia. لأن الاتنين affecting the temporal loop والاتنين بيبقوا ill defined و low attenuated area أو low dense high potency area في ال CT و low في ال T1 و high في ال T2. أمال أنا هميزهم ازاي؟ هميزهم بال sparing بتاع ال basal ganglia. اللي بيسحف وما بيحترمش الفاسكولار تريترز هو ده الانكيفالايتس فممكن تو افكت البيزل جانجليا لكن لو سبيرنج ذا بيزل جانجليا ده يبقى ميدل سيريبرال ارتري سكين ده شكل الهربس سيمبلكس انكيفالايتس في الام ار اي بيبقى فيه بايلاترال اسيمتريكال افكشن للهيبوكامبال ريجن وممكن كمان للانسولار ريجنز والميديال تيمبرال ريجون بيبقى موستلي بالنسبه للمينينجايتس اللي هي الانفلاميشن اوف ذا مينينجيز سواء كانت البيا او الاكنويد ماتر في عندنا باكي مينينجايتس وليبتو مينينجايتس اللي احنا بنتكلم عليها دلوقتي الليبتو مينينجايتس اللي هي ابير از ا ثيك انهانسينج مينينجيز طبعا في السي تي ممكن تبقى نورمال ممكن تاخد شويه انهانسمنت وفي الام ار اي بتبقى ثيك انهانسد مينينجيال Stroke. Clinical diagnosis where an acute neurological deficit follow follows a cerebrovascular insult. There are two main groups of stroke. في طبعا أسباب للstroke الأساسيين هما الهيموريج والسكيميا. السكيميا طبعا أكتر أم أكتر من تمانين في المية due to thrombotic or embolic cardiovascular occlusion. 
hemorrhagic, which is 20% or less, especially in hypertensive patients, amyloid angiopathy, or ruptured aneurysms, or vascular deformations. Rule of imaging, is, the, is there evidence of stroke, ischemia, or hemorrhage? What is the distribution and severity of the stroke? Is there hemorrhagic transformation or not? Is the cause visible in situ thrombi? Are there contraindications to IV thrombolysis? Are there indications of clot retrieval? Is there significant carotid stenosis or not? The vascular traitors is the frontal اللي هو الانتيريور سيريبرال يعني والتيمبرال يبقى سبلايد بالميدل سيريبرال والبوستيريور او الاوكسيبيتال لوب يبقى البوستيريور سيريبرال ايمجينج موداليتيز اوف ستروك طبعا الفيرست موداليتي هو البلين سي تي او النون كونتراست سي تي النون كونتراست سي تي اول مهمه له ان هو تو اكسكلود اي هيموريج او هيموراجيك ستروك uh, الحقيقة في early signs للسكيميا زي مثلا ال hypervessel sign اللي في الميدل cerebral artery اللي احنا شايفينها هنا لكن لو هي acute infarction acute lacunar infarction صغيرة ممكن ما تبانش بعد كده لما بتبقى established بتبان بقى اكنها cortical و subcortical hypodense area زي اللي باينة هنا كده وفيها cytotoxic edema حواليها وفي loss of gray white matter interface او gray white matter في ال diffusion MRI طبعا بيبين في أول ست ساعات بتبان as a restricted diffusion أما ال MRI as a whole ده ال modality of choice في ال assessment and follow up of ischemic stroke لكن هو مش ال first modality لازم to be followed by non-contrast CT study to exclude hemorrhagic stroke normal brain CT in a patient with hemorrhagic deficit uh, with neurologic deficit is an emergent indication for MRI for early and rapid diagnosis and so rapid treatment and or intervention. Come on a sequence of choice how a diffusion MR image. El angiography so it can CT angiography or MR angiography or even digital subtraction angiography how a role betail is to assess both the intracranial and extracranial circulation and demonstrate thrombi within the intracranial vessels and to assess if there are collaterals or not we evaluate taban the carotid and the vertebral arteries in the neck the carotid doppler ده بنعمله اللي هو الكاروتيد نيك دوبلر على الكاروتيد ارتريز عشان نشوف لو في كاروتيد ستينوزس او حاجه uh, if more than 70% stenosis on the affected site uh, surgery may be off lacunar infarction اللي هي الصغيره lacunar infarction are small infarction results from occlusion of deep penetrating end arteries Lacunar infarctions are typically no more than one and a half centimeter in size and can occur in the deep gray matter structures, corona radiata, brain stem, and cerebellum. Now I'm going to CT as a hypodense area. For the MRI, it will be T1, high for T2, high for flare, as we have seen. And of course, for the diffusion weighted image, it will be restricted. Hemorrhagic transformation of an ischemic stroke is a hemorrhagic transformation represent the conversion of the ischemia into an area of hemorrhage. يعني الراجل ده كان عنده past history of infarction وبعد كده جي لقينا infarction دي بقى فيها hyperdense fossae of acute blood في ال plain CT فده you say we hemorrhagic transformation of the ischemic stroke. Hemorrhagic stroke 
Uh, the most common etiology of primary hemorrhagic stroke is hypertension. The remaining cases of spontaneous intraparenchymal hemorrhage may be secondary to vascular malformations like AV fistula or AVM or cavernous malformation or amyloid angiopathy. Plain CT, CT without contrast, they will know the first line of imaging, while MRI defines the age of hematoma, so it can it acute, subacute, or chronic hematoma. The follow-up, hello, I will MRI. Like in for early diagnosis of hemorrhagic stroke, plain CT is the modality of choice. Brain tumors. Brain metastases are estimated to account for approximately 25 to 50 percent of intracranial tumors. Five primary tumors account for 80 percent of brain myths lung, renal, brain, melanoma, and colon. CT and MRI. On the pre-contrast imaging, the mass may be iso, hypo, or hyper compared to the normal brain parenchyma, with variable amounts of surrounding edema and different pattern of enhancement. Hemorrhagic brain metastasis usually تبقى مع lung cancer. زي ما احنا شايفين هنا في الصورتين دول دول axial و coronal reformat بتاع non-contrast CT. The large hyperdense frontal space occupying lesion surrounding by vasogenic edema brain mits, hemorrhagic brain mits, mostly of lung primary. The primary brain tumors, astrocytic tumors, are primarily CNS tumor that arise from the astrocyte. Amyl glioplastomal or GBM glioplastomal multiforms are the most common adult primary brain tumor and are unfortunately aggressive, relatively resistant to therapy, and have a corresponding poor prognosis, usually occurring after the age of 40 years, with a like predisposition. On CT and MRI, there is an irregular thick margins a regular necrotic center, marked mass effect, surrounding vasogenic edema, hemorrhage is occasionally seen, calcification is uncommon, intense regular heterogeneous enhancement of the margin. Axial MRI with contrast, the space occupying lesion, which is an irregular marginal heterogeneous enhancement. وفي شوية surrounding edema وفي midline shifting وده sagittal P1 post contrast miscellaneous items discussed we will discuss the hydrocephalus cerebral edema brain herniation and spondylosis hydrocephalus Hydrocephalus is a condition in which an accumulation of CSF occurs within the brain. This typically causes increased pressure inside the skull. Causes may be birth defect include neural tube defect and aqueductal stenosis, or acquired causes including meningitis, brain tumor, traumatic brain injury, intraventricular hemorrhage, and subarachnoid hemorrhage. The main two types are communicating hydrocephalus or non-communicating or obstructive hydrocephalus. Communicating hydrocephalus. Yani kul el ventricular system are dilated. So it can supra tentorial or infra tentorial. Yani han lay fi dilated lateral ventricles وهنلاقي dilated third ventricle و dilated كمان fourth ventricle ده ال communicating hydrocephalus 
The communicating hydrocephalus are shown in these CT pictures as a symmetrical dilatation of the ventricular system, including a lateral ventricle, a third ventricle, as well as the fourth ventricle. Non-communicating hydrocephalus or obstructive hydrocephalus. A non-communicating hydrocephalus, يعني معناها إن the lateral ventricle and the third ventricle, اللي هم the supratentorial ventricular system, are seen dilated, may be symmetrical or asymmetrical dilatation, with normal sized fourth ventricle. وده معناه إيه؟ معناه إن في obstruction at the level of the aqueduct of Sinus. هنا مثلا سي تي ده في ventricular dilatation في lateral ventricle with third ventricle with normal sized fourth ventricle that means it's an obstructive hydrocephalus or non-communicating hydrocephalus or supratentorial hydrocephalus or aqueductal stenosis cerebral edema Abnormal shift of water in various compartments of the brain parenchyma. It is observed in the majority of injuries involving the CNS. Types of cerebral edema and dinatelet and wea, yema vasogenic cytotoxic edema, or trans epidymal edema. Cytotoxic edema most commonly seen in cerebral ischemia, in which extracellular water passes into cells, resulting in their swelling while blood-brain barrier remains intact. The intracellular edema mainly affects the gray matter but also involves the white matter as astrocytes are also involved. The cytotoxic cerebral edema is in the brain ischemia or infarction and that is not still a possible injury to the blood-brain barrier. CT appearance of the cytotoxic edema is a loss of gray white matter differentiation with diffuse hypoattenuation. Secondary effects of the edema are with effacement of the cerebral sulci with or without midline shifting. In a the CT, the left cortical and subcortical hypoattenuated area, mostly in the ischemia for MCA, surrounded by cytotoxic edema. برضو هنا في left temporal hypoattenuation involve both the gray and the white matter ما عادش في differentiation بينهم sparing the basal ganglia يعني مش encephalitis يعني MCA ischemia the vasogenic edema ده بقى اللي بيبقى فيها the blood brain barrier disrupted وده غالبا بيبقى مع tumors سواء كان التيومر ده primary أو secondary tumors وكمان بتبقى موجودة مع cerebral abscesses It is an extracellular edema which mainly affect the white matter via leakage of fluid from capillaries It is most frequently seen around brain tumors both primary and secondary and cerebral abscesses CT appearance of the vasogenic edema in hip tip a finger like fashion. It's a gray white matter differentiation is maintained and the edema involves mainly white matter extending in a finger like projections. Secondary effect of vasogenic edema are similar to cytotoxic edema. Aye edema for aye hitta munke temel mass effect. And mass effect that be in the form of effacing of the cortical brain cell soil. With or without midline shift. In a muscle and CT brain show shows left frontal vasogenic cerebral edema presented as white matter hypoattenuation, giving the appearance of finger-like projections with the effacing of the same side of the lateral ventricle. And minimal midline shift. CT brain with contrast show an intraaxial 
marginally enhancing lesion in the left occipital loop with surrounding vasogenic edema برضو عاملة finger like projection ودي كانت left occipital metastasis with vasogenic cerebral edema فالميتس بتبقى الإديمة بالنسبة إلى الليجن جامدة قوي يعني كمية الإديمة دي جامدة قوي على كمية على حجم الليجن ده الويز ميتس infarction versus tumor or abscess الانفاركشن بيبقى حواليها سايتوتوكسيك إديمة while the tumor or abscess بيبقوا vasogenic إديمة Know the difference between cytotoxic and vasogenic cerebral edema. Cytotoxic cerebral edema involves both gray and white matter. Cytotoxic affecting both gray and white matter. Well, blood-brain barrier بتاعها بيبقى still intact. While the vasogenic edema affect only the white matter. And the blood-brain barrier is disrupted. Vasogenic edema give a characteristic appearance of finger-like projections. Spondylosis Spondylosis is a term used to describe the degenerative condition of the spine. The key parameters are osteophyte formation, intervertebral disc height narrowing, vertebral end plate sclerosis. زي ما احنا شايفين هنا كده الاكسراي بتاع السيرفيكال سباين لاترال فيو دي أول واحدة show normal vertebral bodies and intervertebral discs. لكن number B على هنا بص في intervertebral discs هتلاقي فيه إيه narrowing of the intervertebral disc وكمان في uh, opposing uh, osteophytes. ده اللي احنا بنسميه spondylosis اللي هي manifested by the reduced disc space او narrowed في disc space وفي projecting osteophytes ساعات بيبان فيها كمان sclerotic end plate changes وساعات في early ما بيبقاش بان دي برضو plain x-ray cervical spine lateral view show spondylosis of C5-6 و C6-7 manifested by narrowed disc space Overtebral osteophytes, overtebral end plate sclerosis. اللي هو ال end plate هو sclerosis شوي. Notes the vertebral osteophytes and reduced disc height compared with the higher normal disc. دي صورة magnified عشان نشوف بس ان الديسك سبيس هنا في الهايت بتاعه اقل من هنا ونشوف الvertebral osteophytes اللي موجود ده sagittal reformat of CT وده plain x-ray cervical spine lateral view show cervical vertebral spondylosis سواء في الـ CT أو الـ Plain X-ray الاثنين شو Reduced Disc Height يعني Narrowed Disc Space في CR4, 5, 5, 6 و 6, 7 with Vertebral Osteophytes and Sclerosed Vertebral End Plates Thank you very much